Morning folks, welcome back. Just south of Crewe today, just hopped over the border from Cheshire into Staffordshire and we're at Betley. I'll just have a quick run up through the village and we'll have a bit more of a chat about it. Hang on. So this is Betley. It's a beautiful village, all centred around this main street. Once you get off the main street, there's hardly anything there. I'm going to do two loops today, starting from the Swan. Look at this. I found one last week and here's another. There's been a village here for a very long time. Betley comes from the Saxon meaning woodland clearing and it's mentioned in the Doomsday Book and has a 13th century royal charter for a weekly market. Some famous people have stayed here over the years too. I believe Charles Darwin stayed here, as did Florence Nightingale, and Elizabeth Gaskell, the novelist, and also the uh, romantic poet Elizabeth Tollett. For our first loop, we're going to head north of the village, across the fields, up towards Balterley, and then loop around at Balterley Hall. For those of you who are new, welcome, hi, I'm Simon. I just love getting out into the countryside and I put up a new video every week. So why not click subscribe? There are more details about today's route up on my website, so go check that out too. If you enjoy the video, please do give it a like and perhaps drop a comment. Why did you enjoy it? That would really help the channel. It would help more people find this video. If you're loving the content, do go check out my Patreon page where you can avoid the adverts and get early access to content and some exclusive videos too. We're just coming up on Bortley now and we're going to take a right past Bortley Hall, a Grade 2 listed farmhouse dating back to the early 17th century. Bortley was originally part of Barthamley, where we visited before. For those of you using a map here, it's a little difficult to follow. We take a right and around the back of those barns and then take a right down and across the fields.
slightly confusing here, there's a well-worn track to the right, but the actual footpath is left here. Just coming back into Betley now, I should have taken a left here really and gone past the church which is well worth a visit. It's a medieval church which was um, restored by George Gilbert Scott, the Gothic revival architect whose work we've seen before in Sandbach. And here's the Swan. So uh, we're just under three miles in now. You've earned a pint if you want one, but if I were you, I'd carry on. There's some beautiful scenery yet to come. It's been just so peaceful across the fields here at Betley Common this morning. But here we go, there is some sign of life. We're crossing the West Coast Main Line.
The path here is straight on across the field, but it looked like it was all just planted and I didn't want to just traipse over it. So I went around to the left. Also at the far side, it wasn't immediately obvious where you crossed into the next field. I ended up hopping over the electric fence. That's where I should have come across. We've crossed back over into Cheshire. We're at Blakenhall. It's a small village about seven miles southeast of Nantwich, and we're not too far here from Wimbury, where we visited before. We're going to take the path now across the fields towards Checkley and then loop around to uh, Rhine Hill.
this is Ryan Hill. It's an alternative start point for today. You, if you take a right here, you've got the crown, and just around the corner to the left, there's the hand and trumpet. I should have taken a right here. To be fair, it's not very well marked on the Ordnance Survey map. I went into the next field and then hopped over the fence to rejoin the path. We're at Betley Mere. It's a leftover from the last ice age with underlying Triassic mudstone and then a mantle of glacial drift on top. That just means it's a bit of a blancmange of material moved by the glacier. It's a site of special scientific interest, just be careful with your footing. At one point I did lose one foot up to almost up to the knee. <laughs> Careful here. Okay, all done. Did you enjoy that? That was lovely. So peaceful. It's just so quiet out there. A minute off this busy road and you're in the middle of nowhere. So uh, that was, what, a little over 
eight miles in total. So uh, <coughs> if you did both loops, you've definitely earned at least two pints of beer from the Swan. Okay, take care folks, and I'll see you all next week.